Hello, Sage Creek. I'm Bryce Lincoln. And I'm Dylan Blackman. And we've got a lot planned for you this week. So let's get into it. The Great Kindness Challenge was held at Tamarack Beach this weekend. Even though it was pouring rain, the Sage team still went out to cover it. Here's Alex Brody, Brady Kasky, and Jack Lieberman to cover the story. Tamarack State Beach, a normally sunny area, was found empty Sunday morning, occupied by only the harsh winds of our recent weather. However, weather wasn't a question for the organizers of the Great Kindness Challenge. Participants would be celebrating kindness, rain or shine. By the afternoon, the empty beach was crowded and filled with the sounds of the Carlsbad High School Band. Founder Jill McManigal tells us more about what the Great Kindness Challenge is all about. So the Great Kindness Challenge started six years ago um, with my kids' school. They went to Jefferson at the time and Hope and Kelly were the three founding schools. And we were looking just to be proactive in creating a school environment that was inclusive and happy and respectful and kind. The many participants would join together to form a heart. We asked our principal, Mr. Morales, what impact the challenge has had. As you know, the, the Great uh, Kindness Challenge started here in our, in our district, in Carlsbad Unified School District. Um, and so not only did we initiate it, but we, we fueled the program and, and kept it going, and now it's spread throughout the U.S. and, and the world. This has been Alex Brody, along with Brady Kasky and Jack Lieberman, reporting for The Sage. Wow. That was awesome. Yeah, it's really cool that that movement was started in Carlsbad and it's now worldwide. So Dylan, last Friday the Spoken Word Poetry Club held their first open mic night. Yeah, I was lucky enough to go and there was actually a lot of talent there. Now over to Troy and Mitchell with the recap. Last Friday, Sage Creek hosted an open mic poetry night in the theater room. It was a great outing and the poetry was exceptional as well. President of the Poetry Club, student Grace McGuire, put together this event in hopes of reaching out to Sage Creek poets as well as anyone who has any interest in poetry. Uh, first and foremost, I wanted to get more people uh, interested in poetry, our Spoken Word Poetry Club, specifically at our school. That's a sort of small right now, and I wanted to get more attention for it, as well as just have a space for like people to just have fun and read their poems without any fear of like judgment or anything. The poets at the open mic event definitely rose to the occasion, drawing out their inspirations to perform their best poems? Uh, I think we need uh, everyone in general, not just like me specifically or like my friends. I think everyone needs like a good way to express the way they're feeling, uh, especially uh, in like an environment that's so uh, rigorously academic. We need a space to like just have fun and just say words just for the sake of it, not just for the point of an essay or a lab report. Just having something that's like, this is how I feel and I'm going to express that to all you guys. So. Yeah. Skylar Johnson was one of many students to perform her poems on stage. Um, for writing poetry where I draw inspiration from, it's probably mostly from my own life experiences and how not only how I feel about them, but how it affects me. Sage Creek students, don't forget to go out and support all of the club's events. This has been Mitchell Benner reporting for Sage News. I wish I went to that event. It looked like a lot of fun. Now to our wild and edgy sports editor, Jake Fitzgerald, with the weekly sports update. Thanks, Dylan and Bryce. Towards the end of last week, most of our sports teams started off by playing San Diego Academy. And as boys soccer lost 0 to 3, and the girls soccer had a devastating loss of 1 to 2 to end their 9 game winning streak. Also, both of our basketball teams played SEA as well as girls soccer lost 43 to 41, and boys basketball came out with the win of 57 to 52. On Thursday, girls soccer is at home, while boys soccer is away. And also on Friday, both of the basketball teams are at CHS. That is all we have for this week, so come out and support. We need everyone there to scare the Carlsbad Lancers patooties off. I'm Jake Fitzgerald, and I'll send it up back to Dylan and Bryce in the studio. What a great week of sports, and what a guy. It sure was. Well, that's all this week from The Sage. Stay classy, Bobcats. So Dylan, 
Last Friday, the word poetry, sp the word spoken, the word spoken poetry club, the word, 